Do you have a product that has different variations to it, such as different sizes and colors? Well, I'll show you how to group together your listings so your customers can view all your options under one page. So whether you're wanting to list new child variations under a parent or link existing listings under a parent or both, then this tutorial is the one for you. And it really only takes about five minutes once you've got it figured out and it doesn't require a flat file. So what we're going to be doing here is creating a parent listing and then at the same time, create child listings underneath it. But what are parent and child listings? A child listing is just your normal standard listing that customers purchase and a parent listing is a non-purchasable listing that groups together all of your child listings. So you can kind of think of it as a file folder that holds together all your child listings. Now let's touch on what you're going to need before getting started. You're either going to need UPC barcodes that were purchased from gs1.org for each variation or a GTIN exemption, which is what I did, so you can list products without having to buy barcodes. So you can apply for a GTIN exemption under generic and you'll actually get it approved immediately or you can apply under your own brand name and you should hear back from Amazon within 48 hours. It's actually a super easy process and I have a video walking you through exactly how to do it so I'll link it up here and in the description box below. So now that we've got that out of the way let's get into the tutorial. So we're going to go to menu, catalog, add products. I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. Select your product category. You can either search for a category by entering in your product or browse for it here. You can star a category to add it to your favorites up above. If you're doing the GTIN exemption route, you have to select the category that you got approved for GTIN exemption in. Now we're going to start filling out the details. Okay, so what we're doing here is creating the parent listing, which is not a purchasable listing, so you can keep that in mind when filling out these fields. Then in the variations tab, we're going to be creating the child listings, which are the listings that customers can purchase, and they will be listed under this parent. So the very first thing we're going to do is give our parent a SKU name. We're doing this first because as soon as we click this product has variations, the SKU name option is going to go away. Which is fine if you don't mind your SKU being a bunch of random letters, but to keep your inventory page organized, we want to rename it. Then we're going to go back over to Vital Info and click Yes under Does this product have variations? Now you're going to select your variation type so some variation types can be combined and some cannot. So for this example, we're going to select color and size, go to the variations tab. Now you're going to name your variation types and you're going to want to type it the way you want customers to see it. Also, if there's a variation that you're going to be selling in the future, but you don't have it right now, you can still add it now. So then it's set up and ready to go for later. So once you scroll down, you'll see all of your different variations below. The color map section is optional, but I'm going to go ahead and add it. And you'll notice as you update each variation, it does jump down to the bottom of the list. Seller SKU. You can give your child listings a custom SKU if you want. However, I just leave it blank and let Amazon assign it for me because it just doesn't really matter to me. Product ID. Leave this blank if you're GTIN exempt or enter in your UPC codes. And if you want to link an existing child that's in the same category, you can enter its ASIN here and then under product ID type, you're going to select ASIN. But if you're creating a new child listing and you are GTIN exempt, you're going to leave product ID blank. Or if you entered in UPC codes, select the product ID type as UPC. Condition. Select the drop down box for each variation and select new. Standard price. So this is the price that you're going to be selling your listing for to customers. And of course, you can make different variations, different prices. Quantity. If you're doing FBA, you can enter in zero. That'll be fine. If you're doing FBM, fulfilled by merchant, enter in how many available units you will have for sale. Now go back over to Vital Info. 
product name. So this is the title of your parent, so I'm going to put kitchen storage bins. Brand. Enter in your brand name that was approved for GTIN exemption or select this product does not have a brand name for generic. Now hopefully that's everything that you need to enter. Mind you, different categories may have different required fields that you have to fill out. So if you're confused on any of that, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Or if you want to reach out to Amazon seller support, I have a two minute video up here walking you through how to contact them through phone or through email. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click save and finish and you're going to wait a few minutes. It could take up to 15 minutes for your parent and child list to appear in your inventory page. And once they're there, you can go into each individual child listing and add photos, description, bullet points, backend keywords, etc. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like so it can spread to and help more people. If you want to learn more Amazon tips and tricks from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!